Shalom. Ko holo Yahawa Ba'ashim Yahusha Ba'ashim Raka Kodash. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders. A great millstone Ruel tells the truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach this word and truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, like and speckle bird, I want to say Shalom. And um, just want to do this quick lesson, you know, showing you the benefits of, uh, you know, just a quick showing of the benefits of uh, fasting. Now, I have an example right here, Kyrie Irving. Now, this dude's all over the place. All right. <laughs> you know, he comes out, you know, showing that we the Israelites and then the NBA, you know, penalizes him. And then he comes out. You know, following the ways of the Muslims, giving money to uh, the Muslims, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so this dude's this dude's all over the place, man. All right, and, and you know, in in this in this walk of ours, man. You know, if the Lord's dealing with you, there comes a point in your walk where you're not all over the place, where you're not following all these different camps, all these different religions. When, when the Lord's dealing with you. He's going to lead you to the man of great millstone. All right. He's going to lead you. Hey, hey, these other camps ain't going to like it. But the Lord going to lead you to the man of great millstone. And you're going to see that they have the truth. All right. But, um, yeah, once again, this man's all over the place. So he's apparently instead of following his roots as an Israelite. All right. Because he is an Israelite. He's following <laughs> uh, uh, apparently. All right, from what it seems like, following another god of wood and stone. All right, fasting for Ramadan, when he should be, all right, when he should be celebrating or following. All right, because it's not a, uh, it's not a party. He should be following the Passover right about now. All right, should be doing that. All right, but uh, you know, I got I got these examples right here. You know, I don't know if this was uh, early last year, late last year, whatever. You know, he pretty much shaved his beard off. You know, like I said, this this man's all over the place. If he if he was in his truth, he would know not to do that. Now, if you want to cut your beard low, now I wouldn't say like very very low, but you know, you you can cut you can cut your beard. You ain't got to have like a, a huge huge long beard, but if you want to cut your you know beard low, you you can do that. But don't shave it off, all right? Which studies have shown, you know, if you get in a fight as a man, if you get in a fight, you know, one of the reasons why we uh, grow a beard is when you get in a fight, you know, you get hit in the face and you have no beard. I forget the metrics, but um, you're more likely to get your jaw, jaw broken, man. All right. So men, you know, it's, it's a badge of honor. You know, it's something that we wear and we're supposed to have. Hey, look at the male lions, man. You know, it, it offers them protection as well. It shows a distinction who who's the male lion and also offers them protection when they're fighting other male lions for the pride. All right. Who's going to be the ruler of the pride? You know, so, you know, you can look it up yourself. Just, you know, the many benefits of a man wearing a beard. You know, of course, Esau Edom, don't be surprised if Esau Edom come in and try to tell you, you know, no, nah, a man shouldn't have a beard. It's unclean. No, nah, a man's supposed to have a beard on his face. Right. Like I said, this man is all over the place. It's first Corinthians 14 and verse 33 for power is not the author of confusion. But a peace as in all the churches of the saints. Now, this man may get it right. He may not. But looking at it, looking at his trajectory. He's still all over the place, man. He's still all over the place. Because there's brothers that have came into this truth. You know, they could have made it to the NBA, NFL, or whatever talented position out here in the world. And they chose this truth. You know, when you hear this truth. Hey, man, you know, it's, it's a fire in your bones, man. You wake up like, oh, man, I'm, I'm the people. I'm the Lord, man. I got to go out there and preach this word. I got to learn. I got to listen. I got to learn, man. All right. Let's see. Uh, give me one second. 
So I'm going to put up uh, some of the benefits of uh, fasting. All right. So let's get a couple benefits of uh, fasting. All right. Because Esau, you know, in, in this world, he would tell you have to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner. But you go into the scriptures, you know, you know, that, that self-affliction to show the Lord that you're sorrowful. You know, a lot of times the men of the Lord, those that uh, the Lord is dealing with. You know, they will fast and pray and show the Lord that they're diligent unto him and he will give them dreams, visions, breakdowns, all right, understanding, all right? These are some of the reasons why, why people fast and it has great benefits, all right, because you have the uh, hormone ghrelin, if I'm not mistaken, that's how you uh, pronounce it. You know, it's just a hormone that your body gives off. You know, that's why your uh, stomach starts to growl. And, um, you know, if you could fight that, hey, just fight it, man. If, you, if you're able to, you know, because it's just uh, uh, your body signaling that it needs some food. But as you get more accustomed to fasting, you, you it's, it's easier to fight that. Like, oh, man, shoot, <laughs> you know, hey, I'm fasting. You know, a lot of times, you know, speaking for myself, when I have it in my head, I'm going to fast. You know, it's a lot easier to fight that, uh, to fight that feeling, man. You know, and, you know, going back to Kyrie Irving, you know, he, he's been on a, uh, what I should have said, you know, he's been on a scoring tear. Apparently, you know, he's been dunking, catching alley-oops, <laughs> crossing, <laughs> crossing people up. All right. You know, cause you go into the benefits of fasting, you know, your, your body Matter of fact, it says right here, boost cognitive performance, protects from obesity, obesity associated with chronic disease, reduce inflammation, improve overall fitness. Why? Because you're, you're focused, all right? Because you go into it, your body goes into that mode where it's, um, where, you, where you're like uh, uh, more focused, all right? Say you're out there hunting for some food. You know, you, you ain't eating, you know, it also goes to show you Esau Edom's a bitch. <laughs> you know, when, when the Lord said one nation shall be stronger than the other, you know, this man was out there hunting and his stomach was, was hurting no man and he couldn't bear it. But us as the Israelites, you know, it's, it's a benefit unto us, you know, because you, you, you're able to perform at your highest level. You, you, hey, you don't have that brain fog. Your body starts to um slack you you uh you're more focused you're more focused and if you have to go out there and hunt some food you're able to do it in a very efficient way all right let's see intermittent faster you can do that as well you know if you first if you first starting out with fasting you do an intermittent fasting all right fast for a couple hours you know, that way you can build up your body to fast and longer. You can do a water fast, all right? You can do it like that. But ultimately, you know, if you're able to, all right, if you are able to build up your body to where you're able to fast for a whole day, maybe a couple days, you know, especially in these times, all right? Which I have a couple of scriptures, even our forefathers, Yahushai, and also have uh, Moses. You know, they fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Sheesh. And, and you go into, a, you know, this this day and age, you have a couple pastors that try to do that. Which goes to show you ain't no power in the name of uh, cheese and rice. <laughs> All right. You know, the Lord ain't with them. They end up passing away. They end up dying, man. <laughs> but anyways, it says uh, insulin resistant and lead to an and impression reduction in uh blood sugar levels because also you go into it when you constantly feeding your body with food and food you know you you you're, you're spiritually fat man you physically and spiritually fat man because you also go into uh the benefits of fasting all right your body is not shedding those cells over and over again all right, because uh, I give you a few examples. Animals, that you know, you got to look it up. There's a couple animals. Hey, there's a lot of animals, I should say, 
that uh, can go for days, weeks, months without eating or drinking. And guess what? They're some of the they're some of the longest living animals. All right. And going back to us. All right. When you fast, when you're not constantly feeding your yourself food over and over again. All right. Your body is able to clean out all those toxins. All right. Is able to clean out all them toxins and um, it's not constantly reproducing all these cells over and over. All right. It's keeping the cells. All right. And that way you can live a lot longer. All right. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, this is edifying so far. It says uh, also boost working memory in animals and verbal memory. In uh, human, in uh, adult humans, right? And pure, uh, blood pressure, res uh, resting heart rate, as well as other heart related measurements. So, yeah, you know, look it up, man. It's a lot of benefits from fasting. And uh, hey, fasting is part of our heritage, it's something that we do, right? It's something that we do. You know, because once again, Esau Edom will tell you, hey, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> now, the Lord say, hey, it, it, it's good for you to fast, man. It's good for you not to eat constantly all throughout the day, man. You know, if you can help it. Anyways, let's get a couple scriptures and we'll go ahead and close out. Joel 2 and verse 12. Therefore, also now. Save the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, El Shah, turn ye even to me with all your heart. And with fasting and weeping and with mourning, you see, it's part of our heritage. This is part of us, you know, self-affliction, you know, a righteous self-affliction, all right? Because you have those wicked ass people in my head, oh, self-affliction, you know, start cutting themselves and all that stuff. No, righteous self-affliction by uh, uh, not eating, but not drinking, all right? But turning unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushad. You know, showing the Lord that you're sorrowful, man. Because you go into food. Food, hey, eating food can be ple pleasurable, man. All right? And render your heart and not your garments. Turn unto the Lord, Yahweh, your power. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and great kindness and repent of him of the evil. So you turn to the Lord. You know, you give yourself that righteous affliction. Not indulging in that pleasure of eating food for a little moment, for a day, you know, a couple hours, whatever, you know, you're turning unto the Lord, you're praying unto the Lord, you know, the Lord may have mercy upon you. All right. Luke 4 and verse 1. All right. This is about our big brother, Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did not eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward uh, hunger. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command the stones that it be made bread. Yahweh shall answer saying, Answer him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, by every word of power. You see that? So not just by this food, by this word. This word fills you up. It builds it builds your spirit, man. You know? So while you're fasting, you know, if it's possible, you go pray to the Lord, seek the Lord, you know, ask for more wisdom, ask for more guidance, and read the word. All right? Because the word fills you up. And the devil taking him up into the high mountain showed Unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So, you know, spiritual demon Satan showed him all the kingdoms. You know, from then, maybe past tense, and, and, and to now, you know, Babylon the Great. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore will worship me, and thou shall be thine. And you got to put yourself in this situation. Yahushua fasted 40 days and 40 nights, man. 
right? You can, you got to you got to imagine yourself, you know? When you get hungry, you know, you you might you might be a little cr- cranky, man. <laughs> you might be a little angry, <laughs> all right? All right? Your your stomach is touching your back. You know, you you might be tempted. But this goes to show you no matter what happens, man, you supposed to stay in the spirit and always fight. Always fight, man. Do not give into the devil, man. Do not sell out. No matter what. Right? No matter what. That's the type of spirit that you got to have, man. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan. You see, the, the Lord was showing you how to defeat the uh, uh, wiles of the devil, man. For it is written, Thou shalt worship Yahweh thy power, and him shall thy serve. You see? So, no matter what, you know, you're going through it. You're going through some hell. All right. The Lord is going to send the devil to tempt you. And you got to push back like, nah, man, I ain't doing that. I ain't selling out. Right. Because don't be surprised. You know, it may come out. Some of these dudes that you may call brothers, you know, they, they didn't sold out. They some agents, man. You know, the age, hey, you know, just something we got to. You know, something we got to deal with, but it is what it is. We ain't going to sell out. Y'all right to with those men. We ain't going to sell out. You know, your, your family members, friends, they might sell you out. You know, and he saw Edo might come up to you like, hey, man, you know. Tell me where your brother's at or, you know, give me some more information about your brothers. <laughs> you can be like, hell no, nah, man. Get thee behind me, Satan. You know, I ain't, I ain't with that. I ain't about to sell out my brothers. You know, let's get this about Moses and the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahushua said unto Moses, write these, write thou these words after the tenor of these words. I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with the Lord Yahweh 40 days and 40 nights, and he did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. All right. And once again, as I said earlier, you know, you go into uh, the, uh, the scriptures, you know, the examples about our forefathers. All right. How how a lot of times they would they would fast, man. They would fast. They would seek the Lord. The Lord will give them answer. The Lord will give them breakdowns. You know, just me speaking as a man, you know. I believe the Lord also around this time, you know, uh, uh, showed Moses the beginning and the end because Moses was a prophet as, a, as well, man. You know, he told Moses to write these things and some of these things, you know, you, you don't you don't write down. You don't tell him. All right. So, yeah, you know, Moses, hey, <laughs> he went 40 days and 40 nights without uh, without eating. Or drinking water, man. And the Lord expound upon him all this knowledge, man. All this knowledge. All right. And, and you got to put yourself in Moses' shoes, man. You know, the first time he, he did this, he came down, saw his brother Aaron and, and the people wilding out. You know, you fast for 40 days or 40 nights and you see your people wilding out. Man, no wonder you, you ready to kick ass, man. <laughs> All right. Once again, put yourself in, in the brother's shoes, man. You know, when you get hungry, just in general, you know, you might get a little cranky. <laughs> imagine, imagine the brothers fasting 40 days and 40 nights, man. But anyways, you know, y'all right desire this edifying lesson, you know, just showing you a uh, quick, so, just a few examples of why it's good to fast. You know, it's, it's a it's very beneficial. You know, if you want to start out once again, if you want to start out with a intermediate fast or a water fast, you can do that and build yourself up through the spirit. All right. So, yeah, how Rod desires edifying shalom.